This is not a policy choice. It's about a judgment about what values you might be more likely to get with independence or with the UK. But this is not policy choice. It is a power choice. It's a democracy choice. It's about us getting control of the levers of power and whether we have more chance of that with independence or less chance. This is Scotland's decision and we've got a right to make it and to take it because we are a, a, well, we're an independent country for about 500 years until 1707 and we've still got a right to go back that way and, and let's just get on with it. I don't see why we need to break ourselves off from the rest of the UK. I like being British. I like being one of a big family and I don't see why we have to break ourselves off from that. I think our Scottish government, okay, it's, it's managed to get going, but I think it can still do a huge big kick up the backside and, and to actually really deliver on the things that we want it to deliver on. But I don't see how it's being held back by Westminster. You, you might not trust Alex Salmond. I can take him or leave him. He is one man. Do you trust David Cameron? Do you trust Nick Clegg? Do you trust Boris Johnson? Do you trust Nigel Farage? Do you trust Ed Miliband? I'll tell you who I trust. I trust the people of Scotland with real power in their hands to use that power in the interest of Scotland and to be guaranteed to get the government nationally and nationally. Well, a lot of what we get enacted in, in Scotland will continue to come from Europe. And if you think that 59 MPs in Westminster don't hold much sway, ask yourself how much sway our six MEPs will have in over in Brussels. And I can tell you, Brussels is a frightening place. If you go and visit their parliament, if you think ours is in the UK one, sexist and corporate and run by the big business, try Brussels. So there's a real issue there which isn't addressed by this. When the Scottish people voted in the referendum in 1979, not the English, Westminster, let's get this clear, Westminster decided to tell Scotland that oil was running out and they were too weak and too poor to make their own decisions. And we're hearing the exact same arguments this time round as well.